My name is Isis Miller and I am the Community and Events Manager for Black Girls Code. It is my absolute pleasure to host this conversation about the power of imagination and the magic of STEM with the filmmakers behind Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey, the new holiday film from Netflix. David, I'm gonna start with you. Can you talk to us about how the idea for Jingle Jangle came to life? When did your vision first appear? 22 years ago, I uh, started writing this and um, because I grew up on all of the uh, um, big, hol big holiday classics, big fantasy classics. And, uh, and I was getting, um, I didn't want to grow up, really. I wanted to stay. <laughs> Who wants to grow up? What fun is there at that? Right. So, so I invented this guy right here. That was the first, that was the first one in, Buddy. Uh, Buddy 3000, and um, and then it kind of evolved. We kept we were going to do it as a Broadway musical, and then when our son was born, then I, when our son was born, Elias, I started seeing life through the aisle, eyes of a child again, and it awakened my inner child and my wonder and my imagination and and everything it was just like a burst of 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 everything and that's when I said it was time to to really bring this to light and Lynn said why don't we do it as a movie instead of a play and I went to Netflix and told them and here we are. Lynn you're the producer and you supervise every detail of Jingle Jangle. Can you tell us what were the most challenging and how you basically coded the impossible to ensure that these things came to life? Um, I would say that the most challenging was kind of keeping myself together because, you know, I always felt like, you know, we, we'll figure it out. We can figure it out and you push through to figure out, but it's how are you moving through it? You know, it, it can be very stressful. It's a lot of responsibility and you want to make sure that you get it right. And that's what matters. You know, there was nothing about this that was easy at all, but it was rewarding and it was fulfilling and that's what mattered so that code that whole formula of square root of possible that was my mantra throughout and that is what I was using all along to push through all of the barriers to get to where we are now. Brad let's talk visual effects. I heard you actually brought a clip for us to kind of demonstrate how you brought these things to life. I, I did. So what you're seeing is uh, Don Juan coming to life. And there are little pictures in picture there. And you can see that the animation team is um, actually referencing the movements that they're going to do for Don Juan. So through a, a series of tools and techniques that incorporate lots of science and technology and engineering and coding, um, we're able to translate the movements of the animators moving to making Don Juan dance. If you guys ever need like another dancing model, I've got some sweet moves for you. So I'm just gonna volunteer that for you. <laughs> Lynn, you really created an entire world out of, out of your imagination. And that's exactly what we tell our girls all the time is that they literally can create their own worlds. And today we have our girls in the room, our Black Girls Code ambassadors, and they have some questions for y'all. Is there a character in Jingle Jingle that you most relate to or learn something from? I would say Journey because she's like, I'm going to make it happen. Come hella high water. I'm going to push through and I'm going to have a great attitude about it. You know, I'm going to come out with a smile. I'm going to put my heart, you know, on my sleeve. And if I get hurt, it's okay. But I, I'm going to keep going. We happened to notice that there was a Wakanda sticker on Geronicus's luggage. It was so cool to see that tribute and shout out to Black Panther. Are there any other hidden gems that we might have missed? Maybe Buddy's made out of vibranium. I don't know. Maybe that's what's helping. <laughs> Who knows? Will. But another Easter egg is on the Buddy Buddy 3000 around his eyes, my son's name, Elias. Around his eyes, it says Elias 260. And Elias is my son's name, uh, our son's name, and 260 is the address of my great grandmother. So I wanted to have this, this connection of this magic flowing, the real life magic of me flowing through the magic of Buddy. How would you tell young creators to continue to follow their imagination while working? Well, I think the important thing is, is to follow your imagination and not give up. I, I'd say one of, the, one of the big things that keeps any of us from 
uh, realizing our dreams is giving up before we start. Um, things can seem impossible like they did for Journey, um, but she figured things out, right? And I think we can all do that too. So I think it's so easy to, um, to just feel like, second guess yourself and feel like, ah, you know what, I, I don't know enough yet, or I'm not good enough to do this, or um, I don't have the resources to do this. Well, if you do a little bit of digging, um, you might be able to find the resources and you might be able to begin that journey of creating whatever it is that you're imagining. Talk about imagination. Oh my gosh. I went and showed uh, a early little sketch of Buddy to my son and he went back and, and came back and showed me this. This was his drawing of the Buddy 3000. Oh my gosh, the original, the original, original Buddy. The original Buddy. Yeah, yeah. The blueprint for Buddy. This is it. This is it. This full time? Yeah, uh, yeah. So, you know, it's, it's just, that's the beauty of imagination. And for me to be able to, uh, Lynn and I to be able to work on this film when our son was five when we started and just to awaken his imagination. And if you're imagination is is being sparked at this age my god yeah. uh my god world look out that's exactly right so thank you for taking something from your imagination from 20 plus years ago and bringing it to life exactly when the world needed it most of course be sure to watch jingle jangle a christmas journey on netflix if you haven't already and have a safe healthy magical holiday season we're going to wave bye to our audience. Thank you guys so much for being here today.